everybody. My name is Ralph Das. I'm one of the core developers of Snowflake Suite. I want to show you something today called um, a local connection uh, component that we made for Flash CS3. Um, it allows you to drag a simple component on stage which handles the connection between your application and the Snowflake tracker. So um, let's check it out. In Adobe Flash, C is free professional in this case, but you can either do this with uh, C is free or C is four, as long as it uh, can output uh, Action Script three, it's uh, it's okay. Um, I'll start with a new Flash file, um, Action Script uh, free compatible. Um, just click on this, and you will get a new file. What we want to do here is create a file that connects to uh, the tracker. We're going to do that through the new Snowflake connection component, which we have in our component panel. Uh, the component panel, as you can see here, is already there, um, but you can always find this under Window Components. So here we have like a thing called the Snowflake connection component. If we're going to drag that on stage, I'm going to see the debug window appearing. The big window is best like if you put it in the top left corner just for keeping it real nice clean. Uh, we're gonna name this connection um, since it's the connection between the tracker and the application we call it con of connection but it doesn't really matter what you call it you can call it test or whatever you want. Um, in this case um, if we go into the parameters of this uh, component you can see that there are a couple of things we can set if we go to window component inspector we can see that there is a local connection um, being set in the future we might um, um, since this is alpha in the future we might support things like 2EO uh, XML socket or different connections uh, at the moment we have only local connection so we're gonna keep that uh, the debug is set to true. This window actually only appears if the debug is set to true. Set it to false, it disappears in the final movie, that is. Um, and the touch stage, um, in this case, it's uh, where do you want where the uh, input of the um, of your uh, touch uh, events is going to be appearing. So, for example, uh, in this case, it's uh, appearing right on the R stage. In, on, on, on the stage um, scene. Uh, if I want the touch input to, uh, to be um, showing up inside of a movie clip, another movie clip on stage, I would change this to the instance of that movie clip. Well, we don't need to change that, so it's all pretty much set. Um, so the only thing I'm gonna change here is to up the frame rate a bit to make it a little bit more smooth and then save this file on the desktop and just save it as a test and in the publish settings I'm gonna disable this HTML output publish it and done um, now I'm gonna test it out and as you can see um, the debug is running it's currently hitting around 9 megabytes of RAM and as you can see I'm running version 0 0.1 which is the alpha and it failed to connect um, to the tracker simply because it's not running at the moment um, so I'm gonna test this out on the um, new horizon table and on the horizon table I have the hardware running, I have Snowflake running so it has something to connect to on my Mac, I don't. So let's uh, go over to the new table and check it out. So we're now walking to the new horizon which is just around the corner. You can see where the name of this here of actual user interface, here's the horizon. So we're running the tracker here, 
and what I'm now gonna do is trying to get some touch input so what I've got here very interested in upgrade options so here we've got my file got testwf start that up as you can see having touch input right now might a little bit out of sync with my camera that's projector so it gives me on my iPhone some distortion of the image but still as you can see it's not 100% calibrated yet so the dots don't appear exactly under my fingers but that's easily fixed inside of Snowflake Suite itself. So as you can see we created a connection between your um, our application and the Snowflake Tracker without a single line of code uh, by just using the uh, connection uh, component that we supplied for uh, Flashy is free. Uh, it's just an alpha um, which comes with uh, the latest uh, edition of Snowflake. Um, for more information and future developments, um, please visit uh, naturaluserinterface.com. Uh, That's natural-ui.com. And um, thank you for your attention.